Hi everyone, it's time for this week's edition of the Roll Report. We are looking at the week of June 5th through the 9th. And oh my gosh, it's our last Roll Report of the year. I was you know, talking to Mr. Dixon the other day and we were just thinking back on September and every year you get, you know, we have a 50% turnover in our building every year. Just like half of our clients leave and we get a new half coming in. And meeting those seventh graders um, in September is always uh, a little bit, like, oh, what are we getting, right? Um, this group has come so far since September. You know, they come in as little kids, just kind of squirrely, and they really pick up some skills. And I got to hand it to a lot of our staff who's worked tireless, tirelessly, parents who have supported us along the way, and the kids themselves who have done the hard work of figuring out what is appropriate behavior at school and how to complete some tasks on time. It's It's been really nice to see. And this eighth grade crew, I am jealous of Mrs. Ingram. She is getting a really great group of kids going up to her. This particular class is just super academic, very competitive, um, just kind of across the board, sports-wise, academic-wise, and they're nice. They're just nice, pleasant kids, and I am looking forward to seeing them progress through Tillamook High School. It has really been fun to have them um, in the building. They're a great group. We're going to miss them. Okay, let's move on to Monday, June 5th. Busy, busy day. Seventh graders will be here having their movie day. Eighth graders will be off having their field day at Camp Wainema. Permission slips are still being accepted. Um, if you have a student, or if you are a student, who is not attending either the movie day or Wainema, it is okay to stay home that day. We just need your parents to give us a call and let us know that, and then we'll make sure that that's all taken care of in the computer. Um, so we hope to see you here, but if you if it would be better for you to stay home that day, we understand that. And then on Wednesday, June 7th, that is a really important date. That is our seventh graders last day. Remember, they start a day early in September and they end a day early in June. So seventh graders last day, is Wednesday and we'll be handing out yearbooks to all, everyone that day. It's going to be really fun. We have some good things planned, but that is our seventh graders last day. Then Thursday, uh, June 8th, we are having our eighth grade recognition ceremony that happens at Tillamook High School. It is very important that all kids are there by 8.15. Do not come to the junior high first. Just go directly to the high school. Um, now, if for whatever reason something weird happens and you end up like coming here to the junior high on accident, sometimes people forget, we will have a very skeleton crew here and we'll try to get you up to the high school, but it is important that you just go to the high school in the morning. Um, that way we're able to start on time and you don't accidentally miss your recognition ceremony. That's gonna be fun. We hope to see lots of parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, supporters, all that. It's a fun day. We're going to be recognizing um, some pretty awesome kids that day. And then, um, you know what? School's out at 1130 that day for eighth graders. Across the district, Thursday is a half day of school. So I think South Prairie gets out at like 1115 because they're like in the hinterlands down south. But the rest of us get out at 1130. That means buses will be running um, from the junior high. We'll get those eighth graders back from um, the high school here. And then 1130, we're going to send them home and summer starts. Folks, it has been a really wonderful year at the junior high, um, and I just I have to express a lot of gratitude to the staff here in particular. It's it's a funny thing. Um, in the old days, when I was a principal at an elementary school, um, you know, you meet people, you kind of talk about what you do for a living, where you live, and I would say, oh, you know, I'm an elementary principal, and they're like, oh, that's so cool, you must love that. And now I say, oh, um, I'm a principal of a junior high, and they're like, ugh. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? I love being at a junior high. And the people who work here love being at a junior high. Um, the staff here is the best, simply the best. And um, I hope your kids have felt well cared for. I hope you have felt like um, we've done our jobs well for you. We appreciate the support of our parents. We appreciate the hard work of our kids. Now it's time to relax for the summer. It's a great day to be a lion.